Namaste guys, welcome back to Yoga Candy. I'm Candice and today we have a really beautiful stress busting yoga flow for you. It's going to be around 35 minutes long. It's mostly going to be stretching out the muscles so there's a couple of props that I'd recommend you have handy. Grab yourself an oil, something that you find a really relaxing scent. It could be something like lavender, mint, lemon, anything. It could be an essential oil, it can be a perfume. Um, the other thing is to have a couple of yoga blocks handy. If you don't have yoga blocks, that's absolutely fine. Grab yourself a couple of books, stack them up. The other thing is a blanket. Have a blanket rolled up and ready, put to the side. Get into your yoga gear, put on something comfortable, and let's get started. Okay, everyone. I invite you to come and take a comfortable seat in the middle of your mat. If you would like to perhaps elevate your hips with a pillow or... Just something to prop yourself up a little bit more. This can just help with comfort. And there's a couple of props that um, would be useful for today. So perhaps get yourself a nice blanket just rolled up and put over to the side. If you own um, a nice oil or perhaps a perfume, anything scented that you like the smell of, just keep that aside as well. And a couple of bolsters um, or blocks or uh, books even. Have those aside. If you don't have any of these objects, that's fine. It's just to help a little bit with the stress and anxiety that we're feeling today. It's not necessary and the yoga itself will also help you, so don't worry if you don't have it. Apply the scent that you enjoy to the back of your wrists. You can even pop some behind your ears if you would like to. to help to soothe the senses and get you into the mood of relaxation. So find your comfortable seat once again, placing your hands onto your knees, rolling your shoulders back and down. Make sure that you're sitting in an upright position and close your eyes. We're going to take a moment here to become present to become aware of the body. Throughout our practice today, I'd like you all to practice being in the now. If you find your mind drifting off to the past or the future, just bring your awareness back to the body, back to the breath, back to the sensations that you feel. Remember that the past doesn't exist. Not anymore, and the future hasn't happened. So in essence, the only thing that exists is the now. Just breathe naturally in the seat. Feel the natural rise and fall of your chest as you breathe in and you breathe out. Be grateful that you're here today and that you're giving yourself this time. You're giving yourself this moment to look after you and to prepare for the rest of the day. Take this practice of being in the now and being in the present Take it with you with the, for the, throughout the rest of the day, throughout the rest of the week. Try to make this a daily practice. Just breathe here for a little while longer. Making your breaths long, deep, slow, but don't force it.
I'm going to talk you through a few steps of a brilliant pranayama practice you can use when you feel your body becoming anxious and stressed. All you need is at about 20 breaths in this technique just to calm the body back down. Before I show you, just draw your hands to your heart centre in prayer and bow your head, giving thanks for coming to your mat today, for giving yourself this time. Namaste. Let's begin. Bat your eyes open and I'm going to show you how to do this pranayama technique. Using your index finger and your middle finger, place it on your forehead or between your eyebrows on your third eye. And your ring finger and baby finger, keep them close together. They're going to be used to they're going to be used for blocking off your left nostril and using your thumb that will be used to block off your right nostril. So let's begin. Blocking off your left nostril. Breathe in through the right. Long, slow, and breathe out through the right. Hold it for a second and then breathe in through the left, blocking off the right nostril. And breathe out through the left. Then blocking off the left nostril once again. I'm going to breathe in slow and deep through the right nostril. And breathe out slow and fully through the right nostril. Hold it for a moment. Block off that nostril, breathe in long and slow through the left nostril. Breathe out fully through the left nostril. Block off that left nostril and go back to the right. I'd like you to repeat this in your own time and in your own breath. Take your time, just remembering to block one nostril off while you breathe in and out of the other and then returning to block that one off and breathing in and out of the opposite nostril. Continue this, really concentrating on the feeling of cool air entering your nostril and the warm air exiting your nostril. See if you can notice a difference between the air that comes into the left nostril and the air that comes in through the right nostril. Keep going for a few more breaths. If you find that arm is getting a bit tired, feel free to bend your knee and rest that elbow onto your knee. Enjoy this moment, relax and be present.
when you're ready, we'll come back into our comfortable seat and just notice the difference as you breathe through both of your nostrils. You might find they feel a little clearer. You might find it just all feels a little easier. Breathe here for a moment before we move on. When you're ready, place your hands on your knees and bend your heart forward. Look up to the sky as you breathe in. As you breathe out, push backwards. And breathe in and look up to the sky, opening your heart. Breathe out as you push backwards, feeling the space between each vertebrae. Breathe in, look up. Breathe out, lean back. Breathe in, head up, chest forward. Breathe out, really feel the space between your shoulder blades. Breathe in and come forward once again. Breathe out, move backwards. When you're ready, come back into a comfortable seat. Rub your hands together, creating a beautiful energy and warmth between them. Just keep rubbing until they're as warm as you want them to be. Then place them over your eyes. And allow that energy and warmth to sink in. Take a few deep breaths and then just take that energy around your face. Let's begin. Move your pillow if you had one over to the side. Let's start off with a low lunge. If you bring your right foot between your palms, keep that back leg stretched out nice and long. Just feel through for a moment. If you're particularly tight in the front of your thigh, feel free to come up onto your knee. You do not need to be this low in the pose. Allow your hips to give way to gravity. Let gravity do its job and feel that stretch. If anything becomes too intense today, just come out of it. Ease back a little. But if not, give in and allow it to do its job. If you can, perhaps bend that leg towards your body, grab hold of your foot and pull it in towards you with your right hand. So you're bending your left foot towards your body and using your right hand to pull it in, getting even deeper into that psoas muscle. You can even come down onto your left elbow and grab hold of your right ankle, allowing you to get even deeper into the stretch. This is completely optional. Don't feel you have to push your body into this pose. Stretching out the psoas muscle can really help to release tension and stress from the body. This muscle is connected to a lot of emotions. When you're ready, come out of it. Release your foot back down to the ground gently. Just feel around into that hip one more time. When you're ready, move that right foot to the outside of the right hand. And just let that leg fall over to the side. Using your right arm, pushing your right leg out a little further, getting deep into that hip. So stretching out that hip flexor on that side. Relaxing that muscle. Relaxing the hip flexors. Bring your right hand to the inside of the outside of that foot once again and come back into a half split pose. Pushing your hips back trying to square off the hips by taking that right hip backwards and the left hip forwards. When you're ready, those of you that are struggling with this pose, you're more than welcome to grab your blocks, 
put them either side of your your leg and come up onto them if this is just too intense for you for those of you that are not too tight feel free to stay where you are your hands on the floor you can point and flex that front foot or you can just keep it flexed pointing up towards the sky For those of you that are on blocks, you can always try going a little lower by moving the meat onto the other side of the block, getting you a bit closer towards the floor. This is all about relaxation today. Don't stress your body. Take it easy. Bend through that right, that right knee once again. Coming forward into your low lunge, stretching through the psoas, back into your half splits once again, and then back into your low lunge, back into your half splits, do this in your own time, and come forward once again into your low lunge. Back again into the half splits. So just warming through the muscle. When you're ready, come into your low lunge and lift that knee up off of the floor. Come into your mountain pose. We're gonna start off with some if, you, if you're very, very tight, a forward fold might be too much for you and you can use your blocks to place your hands on. Otherwise, bend your knees and just let your body hang. If you're not too tight, you can straighten those legs. And just let yourself fall forward. Feel free to grab your elbows. You can put your hands on the floor, on your shins, on your calves. Wherever feels comfortable. Just hang, breathe and keep your core engaged. You can also move your legs back and forth, straightening one, bending the other. You can rock your body yes and no. Just enjoying this nice hamstring stretch. Place your hands on your shins or knees and breathe in, look up, halfway lift, back down to a forward fold. We're going to step that right foot back, come down into your low lunge. I'm going to repeat on the other side now. Just feel through the front of that right thigh, stretching out the psoas. Once again, those of you that are a bit too tight to be able to put your hands on the floor, you can use your blocks or even place your hands onto your knees. Give in to the sensations. Keep breathing. Keep feeling around. Where you feel discomfort, try to see if you can send your breath directly to that area helping to release that muscle. Enjoy this moment. Enjoy being here right now. Move that left hand into the inside of the left foot and perhaps try to see if you can bend that right knee and grab your right foot with your left hand and once again get a bit deeper into that muscle. Using your right hand to hold on to your left angle, ankle if this is possible for you. Stay where you are if this is not possible. For those of you that are able to grab your foot, see if you can just keep your shoulders nice and open and then take that foot down nice and slowly 
Keeping the left foot on the outside of the left hand, just let that foot fall over to the side. Keeping your foot on the sharp edge, you can use your left hand to push that hip open. For those of you that find this a struggle, just let your foot naturally fall over to the side and just stay there. Stretching out that, those hip flexors. Remember to keep breathing. Then come back, bring your foot back to the middle of your hands. We're going to take your hips back for a half split. Square off those hips by sending your left hip backwards and your right hip forwards. And then just bend down towards your leg. Again, feel free to use your props if this is too intense for you. And breathe. Breathe and relax. If you want to get a little deeper, you can always place your hand onto your engaged foot and pull it a little towards you. Find what feels good here. Listen to your body and go with it. Bring your hips forward back into your low lunge. Keep breathing, breathing into that hip. Let gravity do its work and then send your hips back for your half split once again. Enjoy this hamstring stretch and come forward again and enjoy enjoy these sensations enjoy the moment back again into your half split breathe don't forget you've got your props that can help you and then come forward again into your low lunge And then back into your half splits once again. Keeping your core engaged. Sucking in the belly. Those that are using props, just put them over to the side. We're going to lift that back knee off the floor. Come back up to the front of your mat for another forward fold. Again, you can keep your, your knees bent if you want to, or you can straighten them out. Placing your hands wherever you feel comfortable. And just hang for a moment. Breathe. Sucking the belly in. Bend through one knee. And through the other, straightening the other leg. Feel free to place your hands underneath your feet if you would like to get into deeper into the stretch. And pull your elbows out to each side just to get you a little lower. Breathe in, halfway lift, keeping your back straight. Breathe out back into your forward fold. If possible, bend your knees, place your hands on the floor and come down into a seat for a moment. If you would like to use your pillow, you can use your pillow. Pop it underneath your bum. We're gonna take shoelace legs here. So if you take your left leg Place it underneath your right leg. We're not going into full shoelace. We're going to use this as a spinal twist. With your right leg over the left knee. 
Using your left arm, place it behind your right knee and just twist, looking behind you. Don't force your spine and try to twist from the lower spine rather than from the upper spine. Stay here, breathe and enjoy. Try to keep your back straight. When you're ready, we're going to take full shoelace. So just pull that right foot a bit closer to your buttocks. Try to stack your knees on top of each other. Just sit here for a moment and enjoy this beautiful hip stretch. Perhaps take your right arm across your body using your left arm to pull it across getting deep a nice deep stretch into the back of that shoulder blade you can even look over to the right to make it a little more intense keep breathing and keep sitting up straight Be here, be present, and relax. Relax into any discomfort that you may feel. Accept it and allow it to be. When you're ready, release your arms. Just take a moment. and help your legs and release them as well squeeze that right knee up towards the chest and then we're going to swap sides taking that right foot underneath the left and then putting your left foot on the other opposite side of the right knee taking your twist once again your right arm pushing against your left knee and your left hand on the floor behind you. Remember to breathe and relax. When you're ready, we're going to come back into our full shoelace pose, pulling that left leg closer towards the right thigh, the right buttock, and sit up nice and straight and tall. And just breathe naturally here for a moment. This can be quite an intense stretch for some people, so if this is too much, put your foot back to how it was previously for your twist. Have a little smell of your wrists where we put that beautiful scent, just to calm your senses down. And then back to relaxing into the pose. Enjoy this moment. Now bring your left arm across your body using your right arm to bring it even closer, getting a nice stretch into that shoulder blade. Look over to the left to make this a little more intense. Keep breathing and keep relaxing. If your mind starts to wander, come back to the breath. When 
you're ready, release your arms. And just sit here for a moment, sit with the sensation. Use your arms to help your legs back into position. We're going to come into butterfly now. Place your feet close together and let your knees fall apart. Hold on to your feet. We're going to just flap our wings for a moment. For those of you that have particularly tight hips, this can be quite painful. And if it's too intense for you, perhaps place some pillows underneath your knees and just keep them still and just sit there with the feeling. If, you're, if you find it possible, you can walk your hands forward in front of you and just bend down a little bit. If you can, come onto your, come onto your elbows. If not, stay up straight. And just allow your back to have its natural curve. Don't worry too much about trying to stay straight here. Just fall forward, let your head hang low. No tension in the neck. Enjoy this moment. You're welcome to keep sitting up straight if you would prefer. Wherever you are, breathe and enjoy. If you are bent forward, walk your arms back and help your knees up with your hands. Come back into your comfortable seat and we're going to do some neck rolls. Just take your neck over to your left shoulder and very slowly roll it all the way over to the right. And then back over to the left once again. Breathing in as it comes up. Breathing out as your neck goes, as your chin goes towards your chest. Breathing in. And then take it all the way around. And perhaps rotate in the opposite direction, taking it all the way around. All the way back to the middle. Just let it hang in the middle for a moment. Bring your head back up to the center. Remove that cushion that you were sitting on. Place it at the top of your mat and perhaps use that as a pillow. Your rolled up blanket, you can either use it on top of you or underneath your knees to take a little bit of pressure off of your lower back. Make sure that your legs are at least hip distance apart. First of all, just give them a little rub, give them a little bit of TLC. Massage into those hip joints. Rub your calves, rub your thighs. Give them some extra attention. Our legs do so much for us. When you're ready, come and lie back down onto your pillow. If you don't have a pillow, that's fine. Just lie on your mat. Tuck your shoulders and your shoulder blades underneath your body. Allow your hands to fall open with their natural bend to the fingers. Up, facing up towards the ceiling, your feet flopping from side to side. Try to let every inch of your body relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles, relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs, relax your hip bones. Relax your stomach. Relax your lower back. 
Relax your chest. Relax your shoulders. Relax the upper arm. Relax your elbows. Relax your forearms. Relax your wrists. Relax your thumbs. Relax your index finger. Relax your middle finger. Relax your ring finger. And relax your baby finger. Relax your palms. You can stay in this moment as long as you want. For those of you that are ready, start to move your fingertips slowly. Starting with your baby finger, move it all the way to your thumb. Try to move just the tips of the fingers and feel that aliveness starting to awaken in them once again. And move your feet, perhaps move them and rotate, it, rotate them. Start to rotate your wrists, flex and point your toes, stretch up over your head and point your toes, really stretch through every part of your body. When you're ready, draw your palms to your heart centre, thank yourself for this moment today, for giving yourself this time to relax. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.